But that's, <clears throat> I think we've spoken a bit, of, a lot about the top now. Let's go down Chelsea? to the bottom and mid. <laughs> yeah. uh, Chelsea versus Sheffield United. Chelsea. Um, Chelsea. What's going on, Matisse? After that great comeback against Manchester United. You're on top of the world. Hopes are built. Uh, you was actually at you that stage. You were climbing the table. Five points behind United. You were back. Right? Mm. You moved up to 10. Yeah, I don't. I, Nine. With I don't. a game in hand. And you go to the bottom club, Sheffield United. I was mm. thinking to myself, this is going to be an absolute beatdown for Sheffield United. I mean, we, I we didn't were 5 0 we up against them. I didn't think that. Oh, in the first half. beat them, what, 8 0? They've just had a great game. They've draw, actually. I think. I think. Yeah. Yeah. No, but you know what? Their last. Shit. Yeah. I think if you looked at Sheffield United's <laughs> last few games at home, they'd lost like 6 0. Yep. 5 0. But still Chelsea, right? They have a minus 52 goal difference, probably. <laughs> on, on that point. But let me, let me, let me speak on the game. I don't know why, why are you I speaking just have first. I have a point on there because you just mentioned the first? goal difference. Is this my game I or your want, game? Did I, I speak in your game? I just to give you a stat. That's all. Let's see. Are you, dispa- are you, are you, are you AGT? Right. Are you AGT? I, I can Since come when back. do you do stats? I will deliver it, but I can come back if you prefer. First, you want to do the ad read, now you want to do stats. I can come back. What about AGT? How many things are you going to do? What's going on? I'm the new AGT. I just wanted to give you a stat, as you mentioned, about the minus 52 goal difference. So, your <laughs> your XG against a team that has conceded fifty two goals was zero point two four. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Well, I was going to speak on this. Yeah, I know. I don't know why. Eleven shots in total this. from a Sheffield perspective. Listen, <laughs> eleven. Eleven Listen, shots. Quite a lot. It was had. shocking. Their, their XG was one point three eight. All right, now you're done with the maths. Jesus, let's just talk okay, about. Let's just talk about football. Football. Let's Sheffield talk about United. Football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Let's just talk about football. Um, Oli, Mark, Burnley. Bloody the starting man. eleven. Uh, f- first of all, Pochettino. I'm I'm putting the bulk of that on him because now people are talking about like player quality, and we've been talking about recruitment, and we've been talking about ownership, and all these points are still very valid and very true. However, in isolation, you talk about Sheffield United away from home, a team that have been getting absolutely slapped up yeah. everywhere they go, and we. We have six shots on. T- what is it? Shit, six shots on target. Is that the stat? Shit shots. I Shit shots, both. Yeah. <laughs> Shit shots. They have. Yeah, oh, they have nearly. They have nearly <laughs> double the shots, shots. we have. Yeah. So, Look, uh, f- 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 your boy. forget for a second the individual errors and <laughs> the goalkeeping and Baddy Shaw coming on not winning his headers. We shouldn't even be only a, a one goal lead at that point. We should never be like clinging on oh we need to defend no we should be free for we should be comfortably coasting against Sheffield United and unfortunately the manager he didn't play a left winger he didn't play a right back he wanted to go with a centre back at right back instead of bringing someone from the academy he wanted to go with um, Gallagher at left wing instead of playing an out and out left winger and even still when you're 1-0 up and 2-1 up, you could have made these changes to get the team going, to really push, be aggressive, like top teams would do. <laughs> they would go and find the third, find the fourth, kill the game. No, we're going to get defensive now. We're going we're gonna to bring on... We're going to bring on... Um, Car- when we bring on Carney... We're gonna we're gonna still take off Palmer. We're gonna we're gonna take off Madaweke, bring on Mudrick. Instead of really going for it and absolutely killing them and finishing this game off, we wanna piss around and play with a one goal lead and try and protect. It's <laughs> embarrassing. It's embarrassing. And Sheffield United, they 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 they're getting relegated. Um, and, and we've gone there and we've gone toe to toe again just like Man United it doesn't matter who we play whether it's Man City or whether it's Wimbledon every single game is back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth it's just it's just it's tennis there's no con- we controlled for like first 10-15 minutes and then that's it we was like no more now now time to get back to you <laughs> yeah it's done now that's too much passing too much tempo control for us too much passing that's enough of that let's get back to the back and forth the punching ridiculous and we're lucky not to, to, to lose it's just the same as Burnley the week weekend before where we were up against 10 men against the second um second from bottom team in the league lucky yeah, not, lucky not to, that's what i'm saying what? But, but robbie this is why what i said this is why i said after wolves after wolves well, at home i've right said right. i don't think we're getting european football and i'm not looking at the I'm table sorry? and how close the point i said after wolves i said it I said after wolves i don't <laughs> think we're getting last, this this was last year. Year. no no i'm Are saying this to chelsea no but i'm saying it because chelsea fans there's some chelsea fans that still think we're gonna get europe Who? and they're like oh no we can still get it look we're only a couple of points off i'm what, like conferences? i'm like we are in this position yes, because we are mean? inconsistent we're in this position because it doesn't matter what the fixtures are you don't know what you're getting we think we're gonna we're gonna pick up a point three points there one point there. it's not that's not how it's gonna work mm-hmm. we just beat united in 82 seconds and then didn't beat sheffield united and burnley how do you predict the next seven games when you're doing shit like that so the Man United game was just a, a dopamine. That's all it was. Like it was great. It was funny to laugh at Flex and KG, but we didn't actually. It does, it's not like we battered them. It's not a great performance. Because you know when they do like the end of year highlights, they had to give you something. 
So it will basically be when you beat nine men and that. <laughs> that. that. It's just, it's just, um, I, th I think for me, I, th I wow. Thing. My, my position on, on the manager hasn't changed. Oh, I think, I think the manager, I think the manager, he's, 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 he's going to be going at the end of the season. Right, 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 rightly so. Well, he should be. Well, he should be. It, I mean, but it's, again, this is not you. It, it, week, it, sounds like yeah, it, it sounds like you're guaranteed. They keep saving it. It sounds like a guarantee, but it's not. It's not a guarantee. Oh, right, yeah. They keep saving him. Like, he was definitely, I thought, honestly, he was out the door. The Man United one would have been bad. Tune it up. And if you lost that, that would have been normal. I thought he's probably. We always take the lead and concede. I think he's gone. So we do. As a whole week, if they would have lost to you and then gone and drawn or lost again to Sheffield, I thought he's definitely gone. But you've kept him in a job. So now we go again. The cycle goes again. But there was, I just had some other stats. Like defensively, they just were better than you everywhere. Yes. Which is really worrying. Like Jules, they beat you on everything. Jules won, ground jewels, aerial jewels, successful dribbles. What you did, you got two yellow cards. Well so you won that one. Fight. <laughs> you won that. <laughs> You won that one. See, I told you Abby's Less cold, cards. you know. See, but when it's not a good Cold Abby, yeah. isn't it? No, but when it's her. <laughs> cold Abby. Cold, cold winter. That's what I need to name. Winters. AGS. And I also, like it, it, when. Cold, winter. <laughs> cold winters. Um, and you won on passes. So congrats. It's not, it's not all bad. <laughs> <laughs> but if he was doing this about Tottenham, it would have been. I'm not even going to speak. Yeah, I'm not even going to speak. When you got Tottenham, that game must be coming oh, up soon. When do you two play each other? When is that? Late April, I think. Late April. Oh, oh, well, if, in oh, in yeah, one so week, we go there. away to Chelsea, go away to Liverpool, yeah. fourth, and have it? you. What <laughs> a week! <laughs> City as well, mate. What a week you have! Moved of, uh, Are you going to the game? That hasn't been confirmed. What, the, the Chelsea game? Yeah, you're going to go to Stamford Bridge. I, I made you it. Ain't I, I don't Bridge. Bridge. You ain't <laughs> going to Stamford Bridge. The last time I went to Stamford Bridge and I vowed I'm never coming back, mm. Battle of the Bridge, I said I'm never Oh, actually, that was no, no, wonderful. Sorry, that's a lie. That's a lie. The last, the last time, time I went, I used to go every, one. actually, I used to go every year to Stamford Bridge and that one hurt a lot. Mm. But then the last one was on my birthday and it was an FA Cup game and it went, to, I think it went to extra time and mm. we lost two, I think we lost 2 1 in mm. extra time. Pot, obviously, Potch was manager. Yeah. It, was, it was January, we got knocked out. Yeah. Oh, well, that must have been Carabao Cup. So you're, you're, so you're, many, so you're basically uh, saying the Pochettino experiment's failed. It has, yeah. It has. <laughs> it's a <laughs> roaring success. At the end of the day... It's been unbelievable. It, at the end of the day, even though even I wanted them in charge, like I can't be strong and, and wrong. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm watching the way that the team is playing and the way that he's trying... To, the, the direction he's trying to pull them in and the direction that the team probably needs to go in. He's trying to build the team around Gallagher, who was rubbish in, in that game and Enzo was crap as well, but you spent 200 million on Enzo and Caicedo, you have to control games. You have to keep the ball. You <coughs> have to slow the tempo down. They're not physical Declan Rice specimens to be going up and down and back and forth and covering all these blades of grass. Like this is the type of midfielders that we have. It doesn't mean that they're shit. It just means you have to play a certain way with them. Oh, and sorry, he's building you around- Who called out? Who you called out Caicedo and- and, and Enzo, Enzo, yeah. Enzo, yeah. He's building around, he's building more around Gallagher. He's played him on the left wing. He's, instead of promoting someone from the academy like Man United did against Liverpool and playing an actual right back who can overlap, put Palmer back in his strongest position so you can get the best out of him. He put, moves him to the 10, plays the sassy at right back. There's no overlap, there's no width against a team that you should be suffocating. And it's just mad. It's, it's, it's yeah. ridiculous.